Hi, this is Hasmik. Today I'm going to make some uh, stuffed grape leaves for you and show you how, how I do it. So for this uh, recipe, we are going to need a bunch of greeneries. So I'm going to show you what greeneries we need. So and then a few of them is optional. If you can find it, you can use them. Otherwise, uh, it's not uh, you know necessary. So um, we need uh, one red bell pepper, medium size, one red bell pepper three bunches of uh, green onion. This is very important. Green onion is very important for uh, dolma. And two bunches of uh, Italian parsley, two bunches of uh, cilantro, and uh, I have some uh, tarragon and basil. So these are optional. If you have them, uh, it's very good. It gives uh, additional taste and aroma to your dolma, especially the basil. If you don't have it, that's fine. If you have dry one, you can use a, like half a teaspoonful of dry one. If you don't have, that's okay. And tarragon also. If you have a dry or you see a fresh one, you can just a few, uh, use a few springs of it. Uh, it gives a very good aroma. If you don't have it, that's fine too. It's not gonna break the bank in the food. And uh, we are gonna need the three pounds of uh, ground beef. It's better to have at least two 20% fat because the fat here, the, bit, the meat is the juice here, your dolma is gonna be. And we are going to need uh, two cloves of garlic. If you can find a fresh one, fresh green garlic, you can use two of them, otherwise uh, go ahead. And uh, a jar of uh, grape leaves. Uh, normally, uh, I use the jar, you know, pickled grape leaf uh, during the winter, but at this time of the year, we have the fresh one. In the, during like a month of April, May, we have the fresh one. So whenever we have the fresh one, I use the fresh one. We are also gonna need a third, third fourth of a cup or a half a cup if you don't like the rice, rice, any kind of rice you have. And uh, three medium uh, size of tomatoes. We are gonna need uh, one cup of uh, vegetable oil, whatever oil you use. I normally use grapeseed oil. And we are gonna need uh, some spices, turmeric, uh, curry powder, salt, and pepper. So uh, first we're gonna uh, clean up our um, greens, like you just cut them, and then wash them. Wash them, so I have already uh, washed them. So I'm going to use the one I, I washed already. So this is how they're gonna look like. So I wash them all, all my greeneries. And uh, in the meantime, while I'm going to chop my greeneries, because uh, I'm using the fresh uh, grape leaves, what I do, I'm gonna add some hot water to it to make it softer. So you, I can roll my uh, dolmas better. So I've already boiled some hot water. So I'm gonna add some hot water to it. Be careful, it's very hot. So I'm gonna add hot water. And this hot water is gonna change the, the color. However, it's gonna make it softer. So it's gonna be much easier uh, for us to uh, roll or wrap our dolmas, our stuffed grape leaves. Okay, so like carefully just push it in the hot water. And this hot water is gonna make it, like I said, it's gonna change the color kind of brownish however it's gonna make it softer so it's gonna be easier when we wanna uh, start uh, wrapping our dolmas I'm gonna get uh, you know empty the water okay so while uh, that is going on we're gonna start chopping our greens Okay, so we chopped our greeneries. This is how it's gonna look like. I chopped all of them. It's, uh, you have to chop it finely. You can use the, the food processor too, but uh, it doesn't taste the same. So uh, this is our granny. I'm gonna add our meat to it. Okay. I have uh, three fourths cup of rice, any kind of rice you want. I'm using basmati rice.
I have uh, one cup of oil, vegetable oil, but I'm gonna use half of it because the rest of it I'm gonna use it later. So half, uh, half of my, half cup of um, oil, and then half a teaspoonful of uh, turmeric. Either more than half a teaspoonful. Turmeric is very good. Half a teaspoonful of uh, curry powder. Half a teaspoonful of uh, salt, little more than half salt, and half a teaspoonful of uh, black pepper. Okay, so we add uh, all of the ingredients and uh, we are gonna mix it. You know, uh, I feel like my uh, Make sure it's gonna be, if you feel like the mixture is a little dry, you can add a little water. But um, so far my mixture looks good. So I don't wanna add any water, but we are gonna mix it well. So all the ingredients, the, uh, my mixture is kind of little uh, dry. So I'm gonna add a little hot water to it. Okay, my mixture is a little uh, hard. I'm gonna add a little water to it because you want your mixture to be soft so your dolmas are not gonna be too hard. So I add a little water and uh, that is good. We have to start wrapping them. Okay, our meat is ready. Now we are gonna start uh, wrapping them. First, uh, from our three tomatoes, I'm gonna cut uh, one of them. And uh, I'll put the tomatoes in the bottom of my pot. Uh, one more. Uh, now I, um, as you see, I uh, when I put the water, uh, hot water on the uh, leaves, now they're uh, brownish. So we are gonna start uh, for wrapping them. So this is how I do it. One here, 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 and voila. Okay. If your uh, leaves are big, you can cut them because you don't want them to be too big. Okay, we are done uh, wrapping our dolma, so, but I'll do uh, our last uh, tomato. I'm gonna cut it in slices. And put it on top. Okay, and then now, remember we kept the half of uh, our oil, half a cup of oil. So half a cup of oil, one cup of water, one cup of water. And juice of one lemon. Add it to this. I have a teaspoonful of uh, black pepper and uh, half a teaspoonful of salt. Okay, we'll mix it and add it to our dolma. Now 
Okay, we are gonna put, use a plate and just put it uh, put on our dolma and push it softly, and uh, then put it on the stove a few minutes on a high because so as soon as it starts boiling, we are gonna lower it and cook it for another um, hour. So, but you have to keep an eye on it, make sure the water doesn't uh, run fast and burn. So you have to keep it uh, slowly, but for for a long time. So. A few five minutes before it, uh, after, uh, before it starts boiling and one hour on slow heat. Okay, let's put it. Ah, it's been uh, like little uh, over for, uh, an hour and uh, as you can see our dolma is done. See, it has a little juice because I don't really want to have all the juice gone and then it's done. Okay, see how it, uh, pretty our dolma looks like? So this is how it looks like. So normally we eat this with uh, either yogurt or sour cream. However, you can eat it uh, with uh, anything you want. You can eat it with salad or anything you like. So I'm gonna taste the one and uh, I'm gonna do the way that uh, I eat. Okay, let's taste it. So this is how we eat it. We put it in the lavash or pita. And then I put a little uh, yogurt on it and just eat it. Mm. It tastes so good. Everything is perfect. The salt, the pepper, the sourness, everything. Well, I hope you make it and you enjoy it. And thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.